This is complete and utter chaos. What in the world is actually happening right now? Find out by watching this video. Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're going to see what the AI does when we completely break physics. So we're going to be using a mod I made a video for a while ago called the Road Grip Editor. And the first thing we need to do is spawn up some AI to have some fun with. So if we increase the static friction, that would basically do nothing because the AI doesn't corner that hard, so they're not going to benefit from the extra grip they'll get. We can, however, make the static friction zero and have some fun with that. So if you make the static friction zero, it feels like there's a law. And the law says if you're driving, you must be completely wasted. Because that's what it feels like. It just feels like everybody around here is just driving super drunk and they barely know what the heck is going on. So let's go ahead and try driving the wrong way on the road. Turns out, oh, I'm part of the problem. I'm also driving completely wasted. But you can see the way they drive, they're just kind of swerving all over the road and sliding in ways that don't quite make sense. And you just gotta try to avoid them while you are also sliding all over the road. And sometimes they do maneuvers like that. And again, they're <laughs> like, what I'm seeing here doesn't quite make any sense. But it is kind of hilarious trying to drive through it like this. You know, I've played a bunch of cheap games that are just very simple endless driving games where you have to avoid the traffic. And I can say with 100% certainty, this is better than all of them because it's just complete chaos. And then you also got the damage to the vehicle happening every time you crash into something. So eventually you will lose because your vehicle is too damaged naturally instead of just having a point counter that says your vehicle is damaged. And also one thing I noticed that's kind of interesting since we have crashed so much, it seems like the crashes don't do as much damage as normal with the static friction at zero. And I'm assuming that's just because the AI is driving a little bit slower. And then when we have an impact, it doesn't feel like my vehicle is slowed down as much from the impacts, presumably because there is no static friction. And I'm going to say this right now. There needs to be a scenario in the game that is exactly what I'm doing. Literally just make it where your goal is to drive down the highway on the Italy map, but there's zero static friction and you have cars constantly spawning in front of you that you have to avoid. That would honestly make a super fun and interesting scenario that I would definitely play if it wasn't for the fact that I basically just did it in this video. Heck, you could actually have two of them for two different difficulties. One of them, you drive with the flow of traffic, and that would be the easy difficulty. And then for the other one, you drive against the flow of traffic, and that would be the harder one. And it's harder just naturally because you have a lot more cars coming at you from more ridiculous angles, it seems like. Because I am driving with the flow of traffic, with a car that's a good bit faster, and I'm cruising through here. We haven't had a single crash, and I am apparently going well over 100 miles per hour, and we are still just sliding through traffic so cleanly, actually. I am legitimately surprised I haven't crashed yet. If I can get through the tunnel, I consider that a great success. Oh, that was tight. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even get a scrape. Like, I thought for sure I was going to scrape them a little bit, but I am perfectly clean still. That guy's crashed already, and he drove like 10 feet after he spawned. And I really know it's only a matter of time before I crash, because we're going 120 miles per hour through traffic, and I'm not letting up. I am still flooring it, trying to go faster and faster and faster. And Oh, oh no. I just barely clipped the pickle, and it just put me a little off balance, so I smashed into that Grand Marshal. That was a lot of fun though, I really liked that. And just for fun, we're gonna do one more test in this environment, but I'm gonna get to drive a T-75 Destroyer. So this is a really unfair test for the traffic. For me, this is gonna be a breeze, assuming I can get moving. I am noticing right off the bat, the acceleration on this thing is kinda terrible, but the other thing I'm noticing is when you hit the cars, it doesn't even seem like they slow you down that much. We are going very, very slowly, but we're consistently going slowly. And I feel like once I get through the traffic and I'm actually able to accelerate a bit, we should really be able to plow people out of my way. Like this guy, out of the way. Slow and steady, we are accelerating. If you believe the speedometer, we're going 60 miles per hour. If you have any sense of speed, you'll know that's completely inaccurate. However, we just plowed through like five cars and it didn't feel like we slowed down still. So we're just going to keep slowly accelerating as these dudes try to drift out of the way it looks like. You can't drift away from me. I will find you and I will crash into you. Even with me pushing this car, it doesn't feel like it's actually slowing me down at all. 
So the whole benefit in this situation though is just we maintain momentum even as we plow through all of these cars. Yeah, this thing can usually plow through traffic really easily, but I don't even see it slowing down. I just see it kind of shifting to the side and sliding a little bit more and that's it. And all the traffic's falling into the wall and so am I. I'm trying to drift and crash into them at the same time now apparently. I wasn't trying to drift, but we just kind of did that because we ain't got no static friction. You might remember I called this drift world where the only way to go around a corner is to drift. Unfortunately, this is not the best drift vehicle, so I'm mostly just out of control all the time. But it is kind of amusing just to see what's happening. And really, nothing can stop me in Drift World aside from me smashing into a wall because I can't come to a complete stop. So we'll go ahead and hit a few more vehicles, and then I want to change things around a little bit. So you see that blue car up there? That's going to be the final target. We got to nail him head on perfectly. And all I did was just shove him out the way, unfortunately, but that was still exactly where I was aiming. So let's go ahead and reset the truck. So now let's go ahead and reverse things around. Instead of having zero static friction, we're going to have zero sliding friction. And again, we could increase the sliding friction, but it's not going to do anything because the AI doesn't drive aggressively enough for it to really matter. With the sliding friction at zero, though, we can do some interesting things if we continue to use the T-75 Destroyer. Because now, when we hit a car, they're going to slide and they'll just keep sliding. Right there, that pickle, he just keeps sliding. It looks like a hockey puck. He ain't going to stop. He just keeps going and going and going. And that'll happen to every car I hit. Because what happens is when I hit them, then they slide. And with no sliding friction, it just means they will keep sliding for a long, long time. Eventually, the static friction will get them to come to a stop. But it takes a long time. And it is really amusing just watching the cars slide along. Although one downside I have noticed immediately is I basically can't steer at this point. I'm trying my very best to go to the left and it just isn't happening. This car with it being so heavy, it can't rely on just static friction for churning. It's always going to have some sliding friction, I guess. That is something I did not test in the original video, but that's definitely interesting. <laughs> Either way though, we hit another pickle and I love how he just keeps sliding. It's like he's this ultimate drift car. Have you ever seen a car pass you on the highway, but he looks like he's drifting the whole way? Because that's basically what the pickle did. This guy up here, he's doing donuts, and he's still driving a little bit faster than me. Although when they do donuts and spin like that, that does slow them down a lot faster. The more straight and consistent their car is as it slides, the better it maintains momentum. Like, look at that pickle just launching. That was beautiful. He literally looked like he accelerated after I hit them, which isn't exactly possible with zero sliding friction but we can definitely make it possible if we added negative sliding friction which we will be doing we get to the negatives after we do the positives and the zeros that's how things work it's a nice consistent way of doing things but i think you have a good idea of what doing this does we'll have maybe one or two more crashes and then we'll go ahead and reset it and then we'll go to the negative zone and in the negative zone nothing makes sense because how do you have negative frictions it's a mystery, but it's possible in video games. And that truck, he just keeps sliding and sliding and sliding. I love it. All right, so we're just going to smash into these cars. Hopefully they slide. If not, we end with an angry face. Oh, yeah, we really hit that pickle. He is definitely going to slide. Grand Marshal, he's a little stuck on me, so he's not going to slide. Oh, the pickle went outside of the railing. Angry face on. Thankfully, angry face will go away really, really fast once we go into negative sliding friction. Now, we're not going to do negative static friction because when you do that, the AI just comes to a complete stop and it's boring. But if you do negative sliding friction, it's just like what you saw before. But now when you smash into the cars, they can accelerate a little bit after you hit them. And it really just becomes complete chaos after a while when you just have cars sliding all over the place. So the best way to demonstrate that is do the exact same thing we did last time where we drive the wrong way down the highway and crash into everybody. So there we go. There's that Grand Marshal and he kind of just keeps sliding. He will eventually crash into other traffic though and stop. But now we just have a pile of traffic sliding along with me as I drive down the road. This is amazing. So I have a pair of bodyguards. Basically any car I crash into, I recruit them as a bodyguard and they will protect me. Although I have absolutely no steering right now. We actually don't even have any wheels on the front, but look at the chaos behind me. Oh my goodness. I am just leaving an absolute train of wreckage here. And that car is outspeeding me after I hit them so he can go and crash in other cars. And there's a tree. It's going really, really well until I wrapped myself around a tree and got stuck in the dirt. So we'll go ahead. And 
Did you see that pickle just zoom by on the right side? Where did that even come from? I'm not doing anything over there. And that maniac just out of nowhere is zooming. Anyways, as I was saying, we're going to do another one of these, but we're going to increase the sliding friction to negative 0.5. So now when I hit the cars, they'll slide even more. So we have even more destruction. And you can see the sliding friction really doing a good job here. I have four cars just consistently in front of me that I'm just shoving along. Although we do have some very, very ugly glitchiness going on in front of us. We'll just have to try to use my x-ray vision to see completely through that, which isn't really working, but I don't really care because look at what is going on in front of me. Well, you can't see anything now, unfortunately, but when we could see it, there we go. We just have a pile of cars sliding along the highway with me. <laughs> and it just keeps picking up cars and adding them to the list. That blue car was just sucked into the pile, and I am unstoppable with me and my pile of cars. Unfortunately though, again, I have no steering and we have this exact same corner coming up. So let's see if I can ride that wall. Nope, we cannot ride the wall. That one corner just really wrecks me. That's unfortunate. How in the world did you make it by without getting damaged? Ha! <laughs> he just crashed and now he's gonna go on a little spin, I guess. It's like he heard me yelling at him. He's like, all right, all right, I'm spinning, man. Don't yell at me. I'm really good at yelling at people, I guess. So we're going to continue with the negative sliding friction, but we're going to go up another level. So I'm going to grab the track version of the SBR4 and I'm going to decrease the sliding friction all the way to negative one, which if you're not careful, it will just blow up your tires. So I have to be very careful with how I drive this thing and make sure we don't ever have a situation where I start sliding because then I'm done for. But so is the AI. If they start to slide just a little bit, they are also done for. Like, goodbye to you guys who are just going to slide forever now, basically. Even straight up ahead of me, the AI is already crashing into each other, it looks like. This is complete chaos. The game is glitching out around me, but I must drive. Nothing will stop me from driving. All right, slowing it down here. You see that car just popped a wheel. He is going to start sliding a lot. Oh, no. Oh, am I okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm not part of the sliding yet. I managed to remain in control even with that small impact. But I'm really afraid a small impact can cause me to slide just like the red car in front of me who is completely out of control. And oh my goodness, it's all just piling up. They're hitting each other. They hit me. I'm done. I'm done. They hit me again. Well, all of my wheels have popped now. All I can do is slide. And just like that, that's how easy it is to become part of the pack of sliding cars that is just charging forward destroying everything in its path oh my goodness this is just complete chaos i don't even know what's going on up front i just know there are glitches everywhere and we're apparently in the shadow of a glitch and we are going faster and faster and there's going to be a corner coming up there might be some chaos in this corner let's see oh that wasn't too bad at all well there's the chaos <laughs> and another piece just smashes me right into it wow Ooh, I'm finally coming to a stop after all that. That was crazy. We got to do that some more. Ah, I popped my tires again, accelerating too hard. I got to be careful. Once I'm driving, it's not too bad. I just got to be very gentle with the inputs. But that initial acceleration, that's where things are messy. And you can see already off in the distance, there's glitchiness. This dude is sideways. Thank goodness he ain't trying to crash into me. Like, this looks literally like the game is broken. And it just doesn't know what to do anymore. And everything is just going chaotically. So right now, everything's going good. Oh, I bumped that dude. He's a goner. I touched him just a little amount. And then he is going to go for a slide. And I can't even keep up with him. Do you see how fast he is sliding? He's like a rocket ship taking everybody else with him. And there's just complete chaos in front of me. I'm just doing my best. Uh oh, tire popped. We're done. We are now part of the chaos. This is really something else. And I should mention, this is the best spot to be doing this. You cannot find a better location than this because it's all road with borders around the outside. So you just keep accelerating until you eventually slam into a tree and that makes you come to a stop. What are you doing? Just stop there all suspiciously. Get on your side or something. There you go. That feels better. Okay, we're going to do one more run at this because this is putting a huge smile on my face. I don't know about you guys, but this is the most chaos I've ever seen in this game, I'm pretty sure. Like, this is just complete nonsense. 
That's all I can say is this is chaotic nonsense that makes absolutely no sense, but it's amazing because there's just so much damage all over the place. Like, there's a pickle off accelerating at rocket speeds again. He's actually just overtaking everybody as he slides along the wall. And I am flooring it right now, and I'm not even close to catching him. He is going so fast, I think he's just going to despawn because he's out of my range. I have been outran by a stock pickle driven by the AI while I'm in a race car. What is that? Unbelievable. Oh, there's his chaos. Here we go. There's the chaos from the pickle. People are crashing now. I just got to try to maintain control over my vehicle. Make sure I don't crash anywhere. Whoa, losing control. Oh, we're done. I'm done. You just know the second you start to spin, you are done. And you are part of the problem now. And we got a big straightaway here. So we got some room to accelerate. And thank you for the boost, my man. I think it was a Grand Marshal. And we got big speed coming up for a big corner again. Come on, this is going to be big, isn't it? Oh, it's actually not too bad. All right. And now's a good time to mention, if I did that dumb thing where I had a clip at the start of the video, I'd be like, this is complete and utter chaos. What in the world is actually happening right now? Find out by watching this video. Seriously, though, I love this. It's just like a wrecking ball plowing through every car in front of me. Sometimes they get added to the pile. Other times they get shot from the distance. But either way, it is very, very amusing to me. Although there is one thing I've just thought about. We are going to run out of road really, really soon. In fact, we're going to run out of road right now. So does that mean everybody else is going to come pile up? Or that's everybody. Okay. <laughs> and I think we should do one final run to finish things up. And for this final run, I want a nice, big, strong vehicle. So I'm going to go with a D-Series. And I'm going to get my favorite, the D-35 Beast. And then also, I'm going to increase the static friction just a little bit because I know these tires aren't as grippy as the other ones. So I don't want to accidentally pop the tires just like that. And I managed to do that with the extra grip. So I'm pretty sure having the extra grip will be useful, especially when I do the one thing I want to try. And I will tell you what that is once I get the opportunity, which looks like it's really soon. So you see that car up there? The plan is simple. We are going to slam into them and hopefully that spins them out and they start launching off in the distance. Oh, yeah, that was perfect. That is exactly what I wanted from this vehicle. It's just heavy enough to do that without being a big, fat T-Series that struggles around the corners. And that guy in front of me, he broke a wheel and he's trying to stop, but he just can't. Give him a little boost and that'll get him moving. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. He's launching. He's taking out everybody in his path now. I just love watching a single car launch off and destroy everything in his path. It's just a beautiful thing, isn't it? I don't know if you guys would be interested, but I'm thinking we might just do another video where we just cause chaos like this on other maps just to see what it looks like. Oh no, my car is just gone. It's gonna go. Or it's gonna maybe come to a stop? No, it's going, it's going. But as I was saying, if you guys would be interested in seeing another video where it's just me causing complete and utter chaos with the AI and the sliding friction at a negative number, do leave a comment so I know and we could definitely do another one of these videos. But otherwise, that's going to do it for this one. Until next time, this has been YBR. And remember, if you like or dislike this video, I will know. I can tell by how much damage I cause. The answer this time is it's a lot of damage. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I love that hit. I absolutely love that. These are all just normal cars trying to do their commute. And I come in and say, nah, we causing destruction now. Oh, that was beautiful.